Meanwhile, around here, we've been running well below normal for snowfall amounts, about a third of the normal amount of snow that we see here in southern New England and a fairly quiet work week ahead, including sunshine for today. That's the view from Newport Harbor that you saw in the weather windows behind me. And now this is the view from the other side of the state, North Situate with blue skies. Our three key things, it's a dry start to the week. We will be dealing with brisk winds the next few days, gusting over 20 miles per hour from the northwest. And we're keeping an eye on this weekend. So far, it doesn't look like a major storm system, but could get some more rain and wet snow showers Saturday and potentially lingering into early Sunday track intensity all determining how things all shake out for the weekend, but it is something we're eyeing. Upper 30s right now for Smithfield, still trying to climb to 40 in Providence. We've just reached 40 degrees. Hyannis and 41 in New Bedford and in Westerly. Feels a little cooler when you add in the winds today. Upper 20s to low 30s for the wind chill. Those winds have been picking up this morning and we're now sustained around 10 to 15 across Rhode Island and even higher in southeastern Massachusetts. And you can see those winds active through the day with those uh, northwest breezes gusting at times to between 20 and even 30 miles per hour. Live radar is dry, stays that way. Sunshine this morning, mostly sunny at noontime, middle 40s and afternoon highs hit the mid to upper 40s, which is pretty no near normal for this time of year, about 45 the average high. So we're just slightly above that in most of the area. Hope Valley included at 46, Providence in the middle 40s. Situate, Foster, Burrowville, right around those mid 40s, and we're well into the 40s in New Bedford and Fall River. So pretty nice start to the week, breezy but dry. And dry skies continued this evening. Some extra cloud cover later this evening and overnight tonight as a system passes south and west of us. I have us dry still, but clouding up and still breezy during the evening. Let me show you that system that we're keeping an eye on. It's over the Great Lakes right now. Uh, snow and rain showers breaking out across the central and eastern Great Lakes. We're going to watch this, but it does look like it's too far south to produce any rain or snow locally. It was something we've been watching all weekend. Eight o'clock in the evening tonight, we're looking at just those extra clouds here, western New England in particular. Notice early tomorrow morning how far south and west those snow showers are. A couple of our computer models still have it clipping at least coastal Connecticut and Long Island. So it wouldn't be shocked if we got a couple of flurries in say westerly or Block Island, but nothing that would slow you down for the Tuesday morning commute. After a little bit of sunshine, midday on Tuesday, clouds will fill back in in the afternoon and evening, and there'll be even a chance for a couple of ocean effect snow showers developing for Cape Cod in the North Shore of Boston. Seven day forecast. It's a cooler day tomorrow. Coolest of the work week. In fact, highs only in the upper 30s and it's back into the 40s. Continue dry right through Friday, Saturday into Sunday. This is that potential for some chilly rain or wet snow showers. Low pressure passing very close to the coastline again. It looks minor. We spring forward daylight saving time beginning this weekend, which pushes our sunset time on Sunday to 648 in the evening.